this band get a bit of a bad rep and they get taken the piss out of all the time. Bar. But they're actually really good. And there's a reason that they are the 11th highest grossing band, I think, ever. Hmm. Well, I think it's about time we uh, jam the tune that put Nickel back on the map. You feel like singing along? Woo, 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 woo! I do. Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't get it. His voice is so cool. Tired of living like a blind man. I'm sick of silent and a sense of feeling. And this is how you remind me. This is how you remind me of I really am. This is how you remind me of I really am. Okay, before we get into this, because I'm about to dance um this song was first written because he'd written the first four lyrics in a little book and he had an argument with his girlfriend and to show her how annoyed he was he went down to the basement and he sang those lyrics over and over really loudly and then it all kind of came to him he was like yes i've got the melody and he just wrote the whole song and she came down and was like not annoyed she was like this is really good this is a really good song and uh, it is a really good song. Now his voice is really interesting, it's really husky. He has had um, a vocal pathology, he had a cyst on his vocal cords. Now there are two types of cysts. There's one that's got like a mucus retention cyst. Sounds gross, but we all have mucus on our vocal cords. And sometimes some of the glands can get kind of blocked up and that causes a cyst. But more likely I think with him is that often it can be like a callus from overuse or doing loads of gigs. Now people are often really mean about this. Um, I suspect he probably has something a bit unusual with his vocal cords anyway because of that naturally distorted tone, which means things are moving a little bit irregularly, irregularly um, in his voice. Anyway, his vocal cords are. Um, now, this is like, if a sportsman has an injury, it's exactly the same thing. If you are doing something that is like heavy load on your body, you might get injured. That's kind of part of it. And I think that we are really mean about people who get a vocal pathology and um, it is rubbish, but it can happen whether you're looking after your voice or not. I, I'm not sure he 100% looked after his voice the best, but um, often when you have something that's a little bit unusual to begin with as well, you might be a little bit more prone to something like that. Sorry. This time I'm mistaken for any other break it in a barrel out. But to the bottom of every bottle, these five words in my head scream all the way out in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. He's got a really interesting word, now, now, it's like now, now, like almost like now, like N-W-O instead of na or no. <laughs> so this band started out as a Led Zeppelin and Metallica cover band called Village Idiot. It's such a good tune. It's just uh, so catchy. Up and down. You know what? I think that one of the reasons they get made fun of, I don't know actually, tell me what you think, because I'm not really sure. But I think it's because of Rockstar. Rockstar has some interesting lyrics and it depends how you take it. I always took it as like tongue in cheek about how society was and is, but especially was at that point, that whole kind of Playboy Mansion thing, rather than being serious, but some people take it as quite like, 
that's they're idolizing that sort of culture so I think it depends how you take it I'm not sure um also uh something that leads me to uh think that he might not have taken the best care of his voice at all points is that um well they called themselves Nickelback because he used to work at Starbucks and um Chad used to work at Starbucks and the he always had to say have your nickel back and that's where it came from and his stepdad lent them four thousand dollars Canadian dollars at the time to make their first ever demo and they used half of it to buy magic mushrooms which they resold and made more money from but uh it's not the most straight down the line story so This pitching and rhythm though, spot on. So this little dropout bit, this really iconic dropout that comes down, uh, was down to a sound guy who said, you should just bring this down here. And they were like, oh my God, this is a great idea. And then they added it into the song and they gave him five grand because it became like this big iconic point that comes up in a minute where it's this massive lift and it just makes people go wild. This is how you me. This is how So this has more lifts because they've dropped it down. And this. Well, I find Nickelback's music so nostalgic and so much fun, so to the haters. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.